Hey, what is up design squad? As you can see, I already started doing some stuff with this, but today in this design tool Tuesday video, I'm going to share with you an app to manage your icons and it's called icon jar, basically a frame where you can put your icon sets, you can download icons, you can freely reuse. So it becomes like an app where all your icons live. And if you remember back in the day, I reviewed noun project, which is my go to app, something you do just search, let's say, oh, I'm looking for a play icon icon and it gives you all the play icons you can drag and drop copy it adjust if it's SVG PNG JPEG and stuff like that. Meanwhile, this is almost like a, an app you would use to host your own sets of icons and contain it. If you are like a collector type or you like your icons to live somewhere in a central place, this is probably the app for you. As you can see, I have quite a few sets already. I have my my icons, bite size. You can download it. Just Google for these specific sets if you like them, by the way. They're all free. Cam cons, Google Material, which is kind of like my go to for prototyping, especially at lowest fidelities. And as I've shown you in the intro segment, I can just literally open my sketch or Figma or whatever you're using and just copy that icon or copy it as let's say SVG formatted code inline code. So if you, even if you're let's say a front end developer, or you work with engineers, we can access that and use the code snippet instead of the like a pictogram editable and graphical like this, for example, I just inserted it and then I can update and sketch as you can see it scales and then retains the actual border. So it would need to adjust and play with it as I seem fit. But what I like the most about this app, not just that I can freely look up, let's say a search icon or something like that, it immediately showcases all my search icon as long as they are named right or tagged right, star it as well, it could replace the icon with a better version if you are an icon designer and you design for yourself and you want to maintain it. This is also a feature for you, let's say. You can of course export those icons, variety of different formats. It depends what you're after. It gives you a lot of different flexibility. Work with those. So for example, if I would select one like this face icon, I can preview what sizes I want. So for example, if I want it to be 200 pixels and export it as PNG, I can go ahead and export that. And then I can also add a tag. And this is powerful functionality because let's say this could also be a male if let's say that's what you're, you know, want to tag it, for example, it could be neutral emotion, you know, you name it. And then if I let's say search for it, boom, as you can see, it comes up as neutral because I tagged it. And then you can basically work on a taxonomy and define your ways of working with your icon. And so for example, if I would want to add a new icon set to this, I could just take for example, arrows, go to SVGs, select a whole lot of them and just drag it in for example, into my canvas, it's going to immediately ask if it's a new set or it's existing set and give it a name, for example, arrows, because I don't have any other arrows here. And as you can see, it says, Oh, you're going to add 135 items, I can just import and boom, they're readily available for me to use just like any other I can adjust the tags if I'm you know, picky, if you want to be that specific, then you can do it Add descriptions, you can add a license as well. That's very important. For example, I think this linear icon set is by attribution. So you would want to find a correct license. So every time you use it, let's say you're going to have to attribute the offer or where to download them. So you give the proper credit. And this comes in handy if let's say you work with icon sets where you download as you go, because after years, you're not going to remember which ones you need to attribute which ones you don't. And so if I add another one, for example, software, I can also just go and add a new set through this menu item and just select a whole lot of them can give it a name. So let's see software and boom, I have another set. And if I want to let's say group these items, I can just group the selection and call it linear. And that's how I would handle my icons. And as I go as a design, maybe I'm doing like a pitch deck for stakeholders, PowerPoint or keynote, you know, those terms, I would just drag and drop those icons. And if I want to, let's say even drag and drop this, I can just drag and drop on my canvas and boom, I have this as SVG. For example, I think noun project and this comes hand in hand is definitely worth a few bucks a month, especially if you're a digital asset collector and need a better ways to handle it. And so as per usual, I hope you like this video. If so give a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so and stay tuned for next week because I'm going to showcase a handful of free icon resources and where to download. On that note, I'll see you next time.